What's up everybody, it's Coding Jesus, and today I want to talk about variables in C++. Now I know the background of this video may not be as nice as some other videos, but I guarantee you, you'll learn more if you watch till the end. Okay, Coding Jesus, I'm new to C++, and I may be new to programming, and maybe my professor isn't teaching me the things the way I want him to teach it, and I'm looking to you for help. Tell me what a variable is, and tell me what you'll be talking about in this video. Okay, sure. A variable is simply a name for a storage location that your program will go ahead and manipulate. A variable is not only a name, but it also comes with an accompanying type. And that type specifies the structure or the layout of that storage location. It specifies how much information can be held in that storage location. And it also specifies the type of operations that can occur on that given variable. So without further ado, let's go, in, let's go ahead and look at what defining a variable looks like, creating a variable in a program in C++. So on the screen right now, you can see that we're using the Godbolt compiler. God, it's at, you can find it at godbolt.org. And we're using Godbolt because it makes us look smarter than we actually are. Okay, let's go ahead and define a variable. Create a variable, bring it into this world like God brought Adam and Eve into this world. Okay, int x. That's a variable. We go ahead and define a variable. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a variable is a name as well as a type. Here, int is our type. It specifies the storage, lo the storage location in the sense that it specifies how large our storage location needs to be and how much data can fit into it. An integer can hold four bytes of information or 32 bits of information. Okay, Coding Jesus, I know how to define a variable in C++. What's next? The next thing you need to ask yourself is, what's inside this variable? What's this variable actually holding? This variable is holding garbage. And by that I mean, it's not that this variable is garbage in itself, it's that what's currently contained in it is undefined. I don't know what's currently in it. Like I said, a variable is a name for a storage location, and the storage location x can really have anything in it. I have no idea. I didn't provide it with the value, I didn't change its value, but it currently has something in it, and that's called junk or garbage. Now if I go ahead and print out x, let's see what actually happens. So I go ahead and print out the variable x. As you can see here, x contains zero, but don't think that x will always contain zero. It is not a guarantee. In fact, it's almost guaranteed that it will not contain zero, okay? So x can have really anything between those two values in, in, in itself in there. We just so happen to get zero out of here. Maybe the compiler is doing something behind the scenes, but that isn't guaranteed to happen with every compiler or on every computer, okay? So x can contain maybe negative four, positive five, and it will change every time you execute the program. Okay, Coding Jesus, I understand what an uninitialized variable is and how to define a variable. Now, what's an initialized variable? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. An initialized variable is a variable that when defined is provided with a value. So int x equals 10 is an initialized variable. Okay, Coding Jesus, I see what you're saying, but is this an initialized variable? No, it's not. This is an assigned variable that is currently now not uninitialized, but it is not an initialized variable because if you want to be pedantic, an initialized variable is only considered initialized if it's provided a value at the time that it's defined. So x is defined on line five, and by giving it a value at the time of definition on the same line, I can now consider x initialized. But if I go ahead and assign x a value on the next line, it will still contain the value 10 when I go ahead and print out x. Okay guys, hopefully you've learned something about variables. Hopefully I've taught you maybe more than your uh, professor has taught you, or maybe you were really struggling about what variables are as you go ahead and enter the world of programming and now that has been answered for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more C++ content. If you're new to the channel, I don't only talk about C++, I talk about how to build a resume, how to grow professionally as a developer, and I like to speak fluently to the camera if you haven't noticed already. I don't do jump cuts, I don't jump from scene to scene. I like to be as fluent as possible when I go ahead and speak to you guys. If you wanna learn more about the Church of Coding Jesus, yes, I am the pastor in the Church of Coding Jesus. Who else but Coding Jesus himself? We have a Discord link in the description box below. You can join the Church of Coding Jesus. And if you'd like to tithe to the Church of Coding Jesus, I also have a Patreon link in the description box below. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Cheers.